go to Matsushita Diner. Go! Here we go! She seems deadpan to me. She's just sassy and deadpan. But she doesn't sound like emotional. Matsushita Diner, Saturday, 10 18 a.m. Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. A diner that's not open at 10 a.m.? something else. I'm with the MPD. Oh my god, she looks like a gym leader. She's like the second gym leader in a Pokemon game. I flashed my badge. Special Agent Konami Date. Oh, heavens no. I is my boy... Is Ota in trouble? Calm down, man. Does her shirt say hipster? I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita. Before we talk, could I make a request? Could you put the fucking knife mm -hmm. away? Could you put that knife down, please? Exactly! Is that flower print on the knife? Sorry, sorry. What is that? Is that flower print? Who has a flower print knife? Mayumi put the knife down on the table beside her. You got a flower print scarf, a flower print apron, a flower print knife. Oh, you can hold right click to move the camera around. Okay, this game's easy now. All right, I'll talk to you in a sec, Mayumi. I gotta look at all the inconsequential shit. A oh, round jellyfish. chair. What? Sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. Jellyfish. It's a round chair. A table. Beer cases. A bookshelf. It's got stickers on the side of it. A lucky cat stick. Wow, convincing. Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? <laughs> Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Yo, that's so hacks. Good. I didn't know that. A lucky cat statue. A beer ad She's on the wall. Cute. You have zero standards, Konami Date. Well, a beer ad. A stool. Menus written on the wall on Tanzaku paper. That is the autograph of Uruka. From Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? Who? Some celebrity's autograph. Disposable chopsticks. Menus Heretic on the table. His cheek boiled in red wine. Wait, Nani? Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. Salt, pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. It says Mayumi's black sauce. Neither of us can figure out what that sauce is. Try it. Does this remind you of your delinquent youth? Hey now, don't judge a book by its cover. Besides, I have no memory of my youth. Feels bad. Oh, no. A bucket. It's a mop! It's a mop! I can see the kitchen area past the counter. There's a kitchen knife on the table. Something's engraved on the handle. It is flower print. Oh my god. Kitchen knife with a floral pattern. It's cute. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Oh, that's cute. Wholesome knife. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. Aw, oh, what a sweetie. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Aw, oh, that's cute. A floral pattern kitchen knife. More to look at? Words, Mom, I love you always, are carved on the handle. That's cute. The counter. A swinging, a swinging door. door. Swimming door? A swinging door. A swinging door. Do you want to see? 
It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. The who is it? She forces Ota to buy them. I know it. Ota is simping? It's a cardboard box. Delivery slip attached to it. It's from azamon.co.jp. What a nice fictional website they've invented for this game. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads, Solid Model. We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. Whip. Oh, whoa. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of x-ray vision should make them legible. A set. A set? Allow me to investigate. Monka? A moment, please. Okay. A set, you bet. The item description says something about a solid model. It's still not gray. Turn gray! A set. A package for Ota. It still didn't turn colors. Turn colors, damn you! Yeah, it says A set. You can't switch vision types when you're in it. That's too bad. Turn gray. I need every bit of mundane information possible. No? Okay. It says good luck. Nothing but a window. A low table. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. You reached pretty far back for that reference. Click it and then click it again. Just look. I did look. Yeah. Nothing. I don't know. Oh well. Calendar. That's just the calendar. Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Wait, what year is it? It's November, but that calendar says January. Looking closely at it, even the year is wrong. This is old. Well, that's not helping her case. A small sitting cushion. Okay. Time to talk to you, lady. Wait. No, I can't look at the slippers. Time to talk to you. Uh, tell me about your restaurant. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean... Never mind. Huh? Don't never mind me. Uh, how long have you been here? Oh, about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started. But back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Nice. Where's your husband? I think he went to buy some ingredients. Oh, sure. Okay. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Uh, about the weather. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. What about Shoko? I decided to ask her about Shoko just in case. Brought out the picture and showed it to my Does Yumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Is Ota here? That boy. He's been hanging out at this office building lately what kind of office oh what was it it's a place where irresponsible young men hang out 
Nonconformists in the lot. Fucking nonconformists. What? Like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. <laughs> gangsters? Also wouldn't go to a place like that. Then Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. You mean a it's probably like an internet cafe or something. What's the name of the company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Why does Ota hang out there? Oh, because there's a goddess there. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. Uh-oh, he's simping too hard. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. So this witch is working there? Yes. That good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. <laughs> uh, I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. What is out here dropping tier three subs on all the lady streamers? Can you call him? Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. <laughs> Abandon this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. Yes, thank you, Iba. Date, I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnusgate. Lemnusgate? Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnusgate. Renju owns that company. Correct. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnusgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. Later. Wait, not yet. About this idol. She mentioned a box. Now can I look at it? Lemon skate. Hardwood box with a slip. Yes, what do you want me to look at? Yeah. There's nothing that's... Uh, a set. Oda's mother, Mayumi Matsushita. She must really like flowers. A kid's chair. Feel like this lady's living in the past, yo. I, th I think she's living in the past. Well, have a nice day. We're going to Limniscate. Yeah, I looked at the packing skit. Slip, skip. Skippity dip. I like our car, dude. Looks vintage. Limniscate, Saturday, 11.45 a.m. Poopity scoop. Don't DMC Amy Kanye, please. That's so we, it. Got, we got some peppy music. Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? Showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. Simp alert! The police? Yeah, you're under arrest for multiple tier 3 subs. 
Gotta take you in, sorry. After I look around a lot, a large window. A plant. Dante, look! Ants! Ants. Look at them go! Yay! <laughs> what the fuck? We need to have Ants! A, obsession with insects. a plant. A plant with ants. An abstract it's painting hung up. I do not know. Incomprehensible painting. So far, so far a sofa. It's a sofa. A low table yeah, in front of the sofa. What do you think would happen if I flipped this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Yeah, dude, she's an AI ball. Yeah, you're probably right. Guess I won't. What else would you name her? Look at all the magazines. Lots of magazines in that rack. Let's see, how to take a girl home in just two minutes? I think I'll take a look at that. <laughs> sure, buddy. A vending machine full of dranks. A sheep named Iba. That is a high school. A high school? No, Date. Date, please, why do you do this? It's a high table. A door. There's probably an office back there. Promotional videos of the agency's talent are playing. Nothing dirty, though. This isn't that kind of company. There. The company's logo, Limniscate. That's the reception desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. Are they huge? Can we zoom? Nope, we can't. <laughs> huge breasts. Breasts. There are huge breasts sitting behind the desk. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Ota's laptop. Break that thing in half. Date, please. Damn it. Date has some violent impulses, huh? Ota's laptop. Alright, kid. Uh could you look at me? No. Oh, okay. I'm kinda busy right now. Oh what? Are you dropping are you on OnlyFans right now, kid? Look at his stupid face. Hey! What are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Are you a fan of ASAT? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? What could you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Oh, shit, he knows! Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process... Damn it. No person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. Damn it, if only this game took place in Portland. This is the type of kid I hate the most. Punch him? I don't want to punch him. Is that my only option? All right, kid, you ask for it. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Now what should I do? <laughs> punch him in breasts. I have an idea. It's Give all you need, answer. really. Kick him. I told you to wait. No. He's just pissing me off more. <laughs> Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. Oh no, please. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Oh, easy. Oh, he's on Twitter. To Witter. Does Tessa refer to Asa? Hey, don't forget to go follow me on Twitter, by the way. Smile. That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Oh my god, I'm not a virgin, dumbass. She'll be winning Grammys soon. Oh my god, I can smell your virginity from here, dude. I've had sex a million times by now. Dude, these are great. I wish I'd stop scrolling so fast. <laughs> 
I would never think about Aset. She's a goddess to me. She is sacred. If you wrote those lyrics for a child suffering from a brain tumor, does that make you see the song in a new light? Oh my god. You're a nice guy deep down inside, aren't you? I can see you from your writing. <laughs> Thanks for setting me straight. I feel I can be more of an Aset fan now. Oh my god. He just, he just got a new fan for her, just like that, dude. Boom! One day she'll win a Nobel Peace Prize for her songs. Holy Correct. crap. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Oh my god, he's starting flame wars with himself. What? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub-accounts. Oh my god. <laughs> Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. Oh my god. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet. He's a false flagger. This kid is pathetic. He's a one man simping army. When you see a 400 post thread on 4chan, but it's all from one IP, this is the guy. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on Two Witter. Two Witter? Nah, uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Oh my do god, you he has sued a... For defamation? His hoodie says geek. Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions <laughs> for you. Hipster or her son, Geek? <sighs> Hipster would Fine. win. Because she has a flower print knife. Alright, we broke him down. When did you start with the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. Oh my but god. If she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Oh no, kid! Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and. That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? Why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. This gets kind of creepy stalker energy, huh? About last night. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me. Or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. He's going to get him. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. Hmm. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Look how cute she looks. Yeah, I know her. How do you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. Yeah, she's 12. She better be what? just a friend. Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? <laughs> oh my god. Here, how old is this kid? Do we have a file on him yet? Nope, we don't. And we got more pictures. Nice. Refined, dude. 
Oh yeah, he's 24. Right, they said that already. I don't really believe that. He looks like he's also 12. Oh, look at this. What is this edgy art? Look at that, dude. He looks like a Shin Megami Tensei protagonist. Dork. A loser. A geek. Metropolitan Police Department Headquarters, a building in Kasumigasaki Chiyoda District, Tokyo, adjacent to the Metropolitan Government Building, used by National Police Force, the MPD, and the Science Division of the MPD. Sub. Abbreviation for sub account, an account that's managed by the same individual as another main account. Ephonia, a medical condition which a person cannot speak, usually from some stress or trauma, similar to muteness. Not the same condition as aphasia, which is a loss of the ability to understand speech entirely. Central Hospital, a large hospital in the Minato district. Dis, slang for to insult. Originally an American word, it's found its way to Japan, possibly an abbreviation of disrespect. Wait, that's news to me, dude. Am I stupid? Dom P, a world famous champagne with a pink label on the bottle. Jobs. When used by Yakuza, it means, likely means an illegal or unscrupulous activity. Also has a sexual connotation, but I wouldn't know anything about that. Why does it say possibly? Because I didn't know that, so of course it's possibly. Right, what do we got on Iba? Updated. Wait, right, what's new? What's new? Uh-oh. I don't know what the new part is. Oh, it's just the picture of her in the eyeball form. Rinju. Rinju Okiora, sex male, age 37, birthday April 13th. Profession, entertainment company, and maid cafe manager. Likes unusual things, dislikes ordinary things. Hobbies, work, skills, enjoys songwriting. Rinju manages the entertainment office Limnus Gate and maid cafe Sunfish Pocket. He's the ex-husband of Shoko Nadami and Mizuki's father. He's been Date's close friend for five years. And Mayumi updated. Female, 54, profession part-time worker. Likes floral patterns, Ota, and Takaro. Dislikes witches and everything that witch does. Hobbies, cleaning the shop and making soy sauce. Skills, everyday cuisine and obscure puns. Mayumi is Ota's mother. Over 30 years ago, she and her husband took out significant loans to open Matsushita Diner near the Kawasaki district. She's been running the diner ever since, and lately her memory has begun to get spotty. That's not good. Dude, I like the flowchart. You can't see shit. I like it. It makes me feel... Makes me feel nervous. But I like it.